start to learn about career education and job development. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Ms. Eileen Alcina, our coordinator of workforce development, and Ms. Charlotte Allen, our career education and regional job development. Hi, ladies, how are you? Hi, good afternoon. How are you? Wonderful, it's great to see you. Thank you. I'm not sure. I will, I don't know where Eileen is, so I will just oh, proceed with my, my portion of the presentation. Um, I'd like to say a big welcome to everyone in this spring uh, 2021 term. My name is Charlotte Allen. I am the Regional Career Education Job Developer uh, at Victor Valley Community College here. And I'm so pleased that you are all here with us. I'm going to share my screen so that I could go into my presentation. All righty, can everyone see it? Thumbs up, perfect. All righty, so. For some reason, I can't advance my slides. Please bear with me. The, you know what, um, Charlotte, this has been an issue for some. Um, if you exit out of your actual slideshow and then you know the screen where you edit them on and you have them on the side, we'll still be able to see all your slides and you can progress that way so we can all see you. Um, okay. So if you escape out of this. Escape out, okay. And then if you reshare your screen with um, the PowerPoint, we should be good. Or you can send it to Crystal and she can also play it for you. I've already sent it ahead. I don't know if they have it. Oh, okay. It, if they opened it, but let's see. Try one more time. We have so much wonderful support to put on this virtual welcome week. Oh, gosh, okay. I can share for you, Charlie. Here we go, wonderful. Okay. We have it up. Um, okay. Okay, so Victor Valley College offers many career education programs that give you as students the opportunity to become certified in and to obtain employment. Some people say, well, what is career education, Ms. Charlotte? What does that mean? Well, it is renamed. It used to be called Career Technical Education or CTE. So with Career Technical Education, this is just an example of some of the different types of sectors that um, fall under this realm. You have automotive, you have medical, you have paramedic EMT, um, you have business, you have um, respiratory therapy, just so many to name. So how will I support you as students? The way I support our students in uh, career education is by hosting and facilitating resume writing workshops. My resume writing workshops are hands-on. It's not me talking to you. It's you with a template. It's you filling in your information as I explain each section of the resume. I also get my in information from our industry partners and so I pass this information along to our students to make sure that you are employable at the end of your program. The other thing are interviewing skills workshops. With these workshops, I go over the latest tips, techniques, and things that you need to know to have a successful interview. And now with COVID and most of the interviewing sessions I set up with employers are all via Zoom. And so there is a lot of Zoom etiquette that a lot of people don't think about, and that gets passed along to our students as well. Another service I offered for support <clears throat> are soft skills workshops. What are soft skills, Ms. Charlotte? Once I get the job, I'm in, right? Well, once you get the job, you have to know that you need to show up on time. You have to know that if your lunch break is 30 minutes, keep it at 30 minutes. You have to know that once you receive a paycheck, that doesn't mean I'm not going to show up again. That means loyalty to the company. That means listening and paying attention and learning and hustling and having a great overall attitude. Another service is mock interview sessions with employers. 
many of our industry partners love to come on, well, to the campus, but right now we can't come on campus. So again, it's all via Zoom, but they love to hold mock interview sessions with our students as well. And what this does is it gives you immediate industry feedback on maybe some things that you could do differently or maybe a little bit better, or maybe you need to speak a little bit more clearly or articulate um, some of your experience or skills just a little bit better. We, I actually have employers that will come interview you and let you know how well you've done. I also offer individual career assistance. A lot of people come to school because they feel like they have to, you know, some people have to come to school or they don't have a job, so they want to come, but they really are not sure what they like to do. So they start off with general education and then are still trying to learn about the different things that there are out there and, and how they would fit in. And so I like to talk with the students and find out what you as students like. What is your passion? Um, you know, what what is your future? Where do you see yourself in a couple of years? And so we kind of work together and, and try to figure out the best career path and make sure that you're in classes that will support that career path. Um, we also offer free access now to LinkedIn Learning. A lot of people didn't know what LinkedIn Learning was as far as students. So now our career education students can not only have their free LinkedIn Learning profile, but they have all these classes, Excel classes, Word classes, time management, um, if you just need a refresher course, um, they're all there in LinkedIn Learning, and that's all part of your login. When you log into MyVVC, you will see the LinkedIn Learning icon, and you just go in, set up your profile, and start learning. If you have any questions, please put it in the chat, or please email me at charlotte.allen at vvc.edu. Now, how will, how will I communicate? with US students. Well, I have a career management system that's called Purple Briefcase. Yes, it has a funny name and you would think, you know, you think about a briefcase and you think about somebody carrying it around. But this is a very powerful system and what it will do, it will allow US students to create profiles, post your resumes, you'll receive hiring event notifications, you'll have the ability to schedule individual meetings with myself as the job developer, you can also receive notification of events that are going on as far as any workshops that I'm hosting, any employers that will be available via Zoom or on campus. And the best part about it is there is a free app available. And so all these notifications can come right on your cell phone by way of the app. So another part of what I do for US students in way of support is employer engagement. And so I go out into the industry and I brag about what VVC offers to our students and how great our students are and how much they are learning and actually show them the training, some examples of what you're being trained for. And I ask them, would you take these students right out of their program and give them the opportunity to work for you? And guess what? 90% of them say yes. Yes, we will. And so this is another way that our students get the support of our community and our industry partners and get the advantage of being in front of them first. A lot of my partners don't even advertise. They come directly to me looking for candidates because they know that we have a strong base of candidates here at Victor Valley College. <laughs> This is just an example of some of the established industry partnerships that I have made to date, uh, to name a few, ComAv, General Atomics, Big Lots Warehouse, Spectrum, Bernardino County Sheriff, Apple Valley Fire, Union Pacific Railroad, Heritage Medical Group, Desert Valley Hospital, Mama Caprino's Restaurant, um, Loma Linda Medical Center, Southern California Edison, just to name a few. And so you see the regional part of my job affords us to get in front of these large employers and say, look, we are in the high desert. What do you have for us here? If some students wanna move and maybe take a job that's not 
that's not here in Victorville, by being regional, now you have that opportunity as well. So again, thank you for this time. Um, I am here to support you as your regional career education job developer. And if you hear is my information, please reach out to me e via email or phone. And I am available from 8.30 to 5, Monday through Friday. I work for you as students and your success is my goal. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Charlotte. Thank you. Your, your presentation really is this, is, this is putting your money where your mouth is. All of our students have gone to school with the hopes of getting work and leaving school with a better, a better job than the, what they came in with. And you are it. You are where rubber meets road. <laughs> Thank um, you. Would you share? I know that you do all kinds of um, skill buildings and whatnot. Um, do me a favor. Could you share some of the pitfalls that you're seeing um, some of our students fall into? I know obviously the job market is a little bit different right now with, with COVID. Um, and I was wondering if there's any, any warnings or any pitfalls or any things that you could think of that you would just flat out tell students maybe hold off or stay away or look for a better avenue. Um, I, you know. I would tell the students to be careful of some of these remote work from home postings, especially on Indeed or on the internet. Um, I would tell students, if it's telling you you have to pay for the job, then it's it's a scam and it's not legitimate. Um, a lot of people out there are taking advantage of COVID right now and taking advantage of people that really need a job. You know, a lot of parents have to be at home because their kids are, are doing school from home. And so when they say remote work, when they see remote work opportunity, they want to jump on it and they're giving their personal information to scammers. Mm -hmm. And so it's very important at this time for them to um, solidify that it is a, a valuable and viable company. And I would tell them if it's asking for money, it is not a company. If it's asking you to sell something, but you have to invest $500, be careful of that and steer clear of those. That's a great, that's great advice. Super advice. Um, I, oops, let me see if um, I wanted to, I also wanted to ask in regards to, <laughs> in regards to interviews, um, at the end, they always say, do you have any questions for us? And I've always been of the school of thought that you should always have something to ask or, you know, um, you know, to try to find out a little bit more, but not to show, of course, you don't know anything about the company. So what do you recommend are some good follow-up questions for that last interview impression? I always advise students to do research, do research, uh, research on the company that they are interviewing with. And so for me, a very good question to ask is, is there growth opportunity in this position that I'm being hired into? Do you support me going back to school and finishing my education? Do you pay for me to go back to school and complete a degree or my education? Do you have other locations outside of the high okay. desert that I can go into in case I want to make them? Out of the area. Yeah, those are some those wonderful. Are some of the yes. 